Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B-plus RV specialists. My friends call me Luke, and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 419-899-2020. Myself or my brother Levi would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. Moved. We are a full service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give me or my brother Levi a call at 419 899 2020. For sale today, we have a 2004 Road Trek 190 Popular with 59,528 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2004 Road Trek 190 Popular. As usual, we're going to start in the front, work our way towards the rear, try to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are a family-owned and operated dealership since 1976, started by Levi and I's mom and dad. Today, we specialize in hard-to-find small motorhomes like this Road Trek. All of our units go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. They are thoroughly cleaned. We will answer any questions and go through a full demo at the time of sale. It's important to us that you find the RV that's right for you when it is right for you. This RV is special in the fact that all of the curtains, so all the curtains around the back that you'll see, all the windows, they were remade brand new by our mother, Kathy Kuhn. So our very own mom, Kathy, remade all of these curtains with love. So let's show her some support in the comments below. Let her know that she's appreciated and that she did a great job with these. We are really, really happy to have our mom help out. She has been sewing since she was a little girl growing up in Monaville, West Virginia. So she has a lot of experience. The carpet has some discolorations, as you see on a lot of road treks. We'll go over that later on as we head back towards the front of the coach. Nice, easily accessible entryway. Got a cup holder. This window has a screen and does open, as well as this window. So the other window, you can't really... So I had a little harder time than I anticipated opening both of these doors while holding the camera gear and having my handicap here. But if you open this door, you can open the window here. It has a screen. Also, we've got a pleasure way parked over here next to us that should be going live tomorrow. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel for lots more camper vans and small motorhome tours coming soon. Here by the entryway, we do have a passenger seat with a belt. So some of the 190 populars will have a third jump seat as we often call it like this. The versatiles will have two jump seats or at least they did from the factory. If you're curious about some of the differences between the 190 Popular and 190 Versatile, we'll drop a link to the video we have about the differences in the video description, as well as try to put one on the video screen for you here. So again, you do have a belt on this seat here, giving you a total of five belted passengers in this unit, including this seat and the two belts on the couch in the rear. So we'll flip you around towards the kitchen here. We do have a 110 plug over there on the left where the microwave is currently plugged into. The stove light and fan. Got a standard microwave on this. You'll have to plug in or run the generator to use that. We've got two 110 outlets. We've got the water heater on off switch. This is a propane water heater, it lights itself. It actually has an additional electric option so you can use electricity. So that would be a shore power plug-in to heat this. You can turn that on and off there. Got an aluminum backsplash, some of Kathy's curtains here. This window does not open. Got a two burner propane cooktop. Single basin stainless sink. some extra counter room there. Squeeze over here so you can see the fridge a little better. This is a three-way Dometic fridge, freezer. Three-way meaning AC, so your shore power or your generator. DC, meaning the coach battery or propane gas. That's 
all controlled via the controls on the front of the unit. We'd recommend leaving this in auto and that will pretty much take care of itself to keep itself cold. I'll figure out what those accessories are for you here and drop some information on the screen. Got a cool cat AC heat pump. So the heat pump will work down to around 40 or 50 degrees outside temperature. Below that, you will have to use the onboard propane furnace that also has your air conditioner in it. The air conditioner runs off of your shore power or your generator. Got some of your manuals there. Here in the rear, We've got some lights throughout. You can turn these on or off right on the lights themselves. We've got two speakers in the rear. Those run off of the head unit up by where the driver and passenger would sit. So whatever you're listening to in the front of the RV will play out of those speakers in the rear. We have windows that open all the way around on the sides and the rear. There are no screens. However, the accessory you saw just a moment ago in that compartment is a cargo door screen for the rear cargo door so that can velcro around to close this off we do have kathy's curtains all the way around to provide privacy got two lap belts on the rear as well i wanted to show you the propane furnace down below the couch also got a compartment here with some of your water valves as well as your water heater and your water pump got your fuse panel that contains your 12 volt fuses as well as your 110 breakers this is an access to the rear storage below the couch. This is also accessible outside of the RV through the rear entry doors. Got a table mount in the center. Noxious gas detector. This is the winter tank. When we received this particular specimen, the only cushions that came with it were this bottom cushion and this bottom cushion. So we contacted our local trim shop and using a pattern from an existing Road Trek 190 popular we had, we had them remake the back cushions as well as this bottom cushion here. So these are brand new foam, brand new upholstery. These are the original foam and brand new upholstery to match the back cushions. Levi, mom and I sat down and tried to choose a color that matched some of the existing blue tones. So depending on how your screen views this, um, it's kind of a gray with a blue and grayish check. So we thought that would update the colors as well as match the existing upholstery. And we also matched that to these gray or grayish colored curtains that mom made. We are considering offering remaking of the rear cushions either entirely with brand new foam or just, uh, just upholstery, depending on whether you would want those for looks or for other reasons. We are considering that as an option. So let us know in the comments below if you think that's something that you would consider if you were purchasing a road trek from us or something like this. We sell a lot of these vans that have this type of upholstery and we are considering this as an option whether to remake the foam or just do the upholstery. So let us know in the comments below what you think about that. This unit is designed to sleep two separately. You can also make up a big bed in the back using the table that's stored below this cushion. So the table will fit in this gap and you'll use these back cushions to fill in this area. And you could sleep a third person here if you would like to. We'll go ahead and drop some pictures so you can see what that looks like as well as some measurements. The twin sleepers measure approximately 70 inches long and 27 inches wide. This is a very popular sleeping setup in a camper van as it allows you to easily swing your legs out at night and go to the bathroom without crawling over one another. If you make up the big bed in the back, it will measure approximately 70 inches front to back and 72 inches side to side. This bed is technically designed for two, but you could potentially sleep three people lying either direction in this bed if so desired. Here we are sitting in the couch bed at the rear of the road trek. There is some fading along the edges of the carpet throughout this unit. This is very common on road treks of this era. This unit has been thoroughly cleaned. We've got a 110 outlet over here to the left on the wall so you can plug things in while you are laying in bed. Also got one tucked up underneath there with a noxious gas detector. Got a counter slide out there to provide some more counter space if you'd like. Got a couple screw marks there. 
We've got an inverter on this unit. You turn the inverter on and off there. That will allow you to watch the TV off of the coach battery. This is nice in, in case you'd like to have somebody sitting in the back watching TV while you're going down the road. You can also use the TV while you're boondocking that way. The TV is on a swivel arm that can swivel out and face the front. The front two chairs both swivel. However, the driver's seat will not get a very good position due to the steering wheel and cabinet, but you can watch TV from the front if you'd like. The uh, seat here, the passenger seat will also swivel and connect with this seat to make a third bed. So you'll slide the drawer out of support and this will make up a third bed. Check out our Road Trek 190 popular versus versatile video for some examples and photos of different uh, units made up with those beds. We've got a fantastic fan in the center. The fantastic fan runs on the coach battery, so you can use that when boondocking like an attic fan, open up the windows and get some good cold air from the outside inside of the RV. We've got the shower curtain track running around that. Real quick, I'll show you this cabinet I forgot to show you earlier. So the DVD player has been relocated to the TV. So the TV has a built-in DVD player, so that is just a storage cabinet now. I'll flip you back around here and we will check out the shower area. So the shower curtain will pull around the track, get your shower head. This portion of the wall will flip out if you'd like to use that to provide privacy while you're using the restroom or perhaps while you're sleeping. There's also a privacy flap on the inside of this door. The way this basin is designed is for that when you're taking a shower, the water will run forward into this trench drain. You can remove this cover to clean that out if you need to. It also makes this area easier to keep clean. Got a table mount up front if you'd like to put a table up front. The wardrobe closet. Two table legs. Got some storage railings. Got some more of mom's curtains up front. I happen to come from a very musical family. Even the sewing machine's a singer. Got some more of Kathy's curtains that can go all the way around the front to make privacy while you're parked. Also got a storage bay up top here. Got a nice specimen here. Does have some cosmetic flaws like any RV. A few retro fittings, I guess you could call them with the rear cushions, depending on what you think of that. A very, very nice unit, shined up very well outside, cleaned up pretty good inside. The biggest marks are the carpet, I would say, and just a couple little dings on the cabinets, like that screw hole over there. Um, stuff you have to look for. It's definitely a nice unit in very good working order, ready to hit the road. We'll go through a full demo at the time of sale, answer any questions you have. I'm going to call this one an 8.5 out of 10. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealership around since 1976. Up here in the cabin area, we have power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, CD player, Bluetooth. The backup camera also functions through the screen on the radio. Nice looking seats, clean, no burn marks, stains, things of that nature. It's a little dark, but I'll try to get you a look at some of the marks on the carpet, like you see here. You also have the fading that you normally see on these road treks. Also some discolorations on the carpet there. This has been thoroughly cleaned by our very own Rick. He has been working here longer than I've been alive. He's very good at his job. All right, folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2004 Road Trek 190 Popular. This RV measures 20 feet bumper to bumper with an 11 foot manual awning. It has Michelin tires with a 4217 date code. This Road Trek has had the standard ground effects removed on the front and rear bumpers. This increases the ground clearance, which can give you an advantage if you're planning on doing some off-grid camping or heading out into the wilderness. 
This RV is built on a Chevy 3500 chassis with a 6 liter V8 engine with 59,528 miles. Got minimal blemishes on the exterior, very nice stripes on this one. We also have new Bilstein shocks all the way around. Got a porch light here, furnace exhaust, coach battery. Got a backup camera up top. That's your propane tank down here. The generator is up underneath where the spare tire normally would be. Sometimes you see road trucks with the spare tire mount here. This one has been removed. So we have a tow package and as well as an extra hitch here. We've got some storage beneath the couch as well as the awning crank and center rafter. We've got the fill for the onboard fresh water tank. This is actually the winter tank. So this is a smaller water tank that's inside of the RV for colder weather camping. If you have more questions about that, we'll answer those at the time of sale. Got the generator exhaust, the fuel fill for the engine, as well as the onboard generator. Generator will stop running around a quarter tank. Got your water heater, back of the fridge. We have the outside shower. This is convenient to wash your shoes off at the beach, kids or pets. We have the city water connection here. So you can run a hose into this and use the city water, which will provide water to your sinks, shower, toilet, as well as provide the pressure without using the water pump. That bypasses the onboard fresh water tank. Got a cable TV hookup. Got a little uh, ho hole here so you can run the power cord out and down and shut all these compartments while you're parked if you'd like. Got your power cord, extension cord, water hose, some converters. This is your sewer dump. So we've got a couple levers down there you'll pull to drain the black and gray tank. You'll pull the black first, then the gray. And here is the fill for the standard freshwater tank. So this is the main freshwater tank that you're gonna use most of the time in the camper. Take a closer look here at the stripes. We've got the vent over the stove. Here's a closer look at mom's sewing station where the curtains for this road trek were made. The giant frame behind her is a collage of childhood pictures from all of us five kids. Mom has been working on teaching me the family recipes and sewed me this apron for my 28th birthday recently. As Abraham Lincoln eloquently put, all that I am or ever hope to be, I owe to my angel mother. Mm -hmm.